<clears throat> Hello again. This is the Watering Man. This is Spiritual Toolbox number 69. The Love Chapter number 45. Audio recording number 387. Examination table number 59. I'm going to continue in um, um, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. I should finish it up. Here. Okay, let's start out by reading it in the King James language. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. And we covered all the way down to and they shall not and they shall walk, and now we're going and not faint. <coughs> Okay. <coughs> okay. Okay. Now, right, right after they shall walk, there's that number thirty-eight oh eight, which I covered a little bit last time, and it basically means it's L O, and it basically means not. Okay, it's kind of like ooh yuck, oh you, but it's it's not. I don't think it's that strong, and that emphatic, but it's still it's a negation. It's a no. It's a not. It's a, it says here on the online biblical usage, uh, not with verb absolute prohibition, or not with a modifier a negation. <clears throat> Uh, it says in the strong a primitive particle, not a simple or abstract negation. Uh, by implication, no. Okay, it's just no. The answer is no. Okay. The other one's a little stronger. Ooh, yuck. Absolutely not. Okay. I, I, I take it it's just more of a it's absolutely not it's totally the opposite it's it's really emphatically ew. you know this is just still answers no okay so okay uh hang on a little bit so we're going from they shall walk and, and 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 not they just won't not okay faint uh, and not faint okay because <clears throat> that not's actually in the word right before that 3808 okay now and not and not faint they got it that's uh 3286 and it's that uh, y a little curly q a p 3286 is this word Strong's H, 3286. Yaf. 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 It's actually got Y-A-A-P. It sounds like it's got an F in it, but when it's pronounced, so. <clears throat> okay. Now, that's a verb, a primitive root. And it means also to grow tired, to faint, and stuff. But it's a little different than in these first two, like, rounds of flying and then running. We we'll back in this first, what it's saying. Um, uh, let me go back here just a little bit. Uh, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, and they shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Now this, um, <clears throat> if you go back and look at this, and not be weary is from 3021. It's that one spelt like yoga, Y-O-G-A. And it's what is that, yaga, or what? Let me, let me see here. Make sure I'm spelling that right. Y-A. G A, y'all go. Strong's H three thousand twenty one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay. And and that just we also remember that and they shall mount up with the wings as eagles. We're just starting out very fast, you know, they wanna just man rise to the occasion. All this is they're going really, really fast. It's slowing down a little bit to run and they're still wanting to be helpful and aid, but they're ministering out of the need and not the lead of the Spirit of God. Okay? Um, just because there's a need or because you see it as a good thing doesn't mean that's what God is telling you to do. That's a, that's a critical thing. Are you hearing God tell you to do something? Or are you just trying to do it because you think it's good? <clears throat> okay, in other words. Now, um, on that Yaga, uh, that uh, 30, 30, 21 thing, and not be weird, like when you're running, you're slowing down a little bit, but then and you're still getting into being tired. To be exhausted, to labor especially with effort and toil. From your efforts of doing this, trying to cover everybody's good and everybody's wanting to do this, everybody needs a, has a need, you're trying to do, 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 do. It's then that's just you're getting exhausted from that. And when you get into this walking phase, like walking, living, reliving in the fullness of God, in Christ, and God, waiting on God to give you the the lead from the Spirit, and not just minister out here these, this every need, because there's so many needs, there's no way you can cover them all and discern it all. You gotta rely upon God. You know, it's not by your might, your strength, your power. See, and I guess that's what they're saying now, this flying and it running. You're ministering now of your power, what you're just, you're, you're still uh, relying in some part that seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell with the eye in control, with the thought processes controlled by that ego, trying to mislead you into thinking, oh, it's a good thing, so it has to be God thing. Not necessarily. <coughs> As you slow down in Christ, not become stupid, but you slow down and you rely. You rest in, in God, E-M, and S-Y-M, in union with God. Um, you don't have to labor to toil to go so, so much to exhaust and weary. That's what it's saying here. Uh, you not is low, thirty-eight oh eight, and not faint is thirty-two eighty-six. Is uh, Strong's H thirty-two eighty-six. Yeah, F. Okay. Yeah, now, now let's break this word down more. What it's saying. Uh, Things I was giving a little description of what it's talking about here. It's a verb. It's a primitive root. Okay, and it's also, you will not grow tired, but because you don't have to labor so much, and it's right here. It's not to grow tired, you will not have to grow tired uh, as from wearisome flight. Okay, like in that first phase, you're going fast and all over the place, way out here in the sine wave, like way up and way down. You're chasing all these, this is a good thing, this is a bad thing, this is a good thing, this is a bad thing. I gotta just, oh, I gotta do, 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 do. Oh, you're settling down into, right, all the way from olive, in, uh, into, or towards, to, towards, into, and right, in, and S, Y, in, God. When you're getting out there walking, you're in, and S, Y, in, you're slowing down. You're relying upon God to be your pilot, to God to be your all. God is my salvation. My deliverance from this stuff. Not me. Not based upon my works and my mind. I just agree with him. As the Father says to the Spirit, tells you to do something, just do it.
he did not grow weary. So he said, you're not going weary from his flight and then from his running in the Arabic. See, in the, the Hebrew lexicon, it's, to go, it's not from going swiftly, rushing around to aid and help, and to run. In the Arabic, <clears throat> um, I think you find that in the B, BDB. I think that's where it's, uh, yeah. It's in the BDB, Brown Strivers and Briggs lexicon. It's um, um, where you're not, remember the low before that, you're not running um, and showing weariness. From, from the running, rushing around. Remember what this running is over here? Um, uh, yeah. Um, there it is. Had to dig through my notes here. I could do it on that too, but it's uh, from that word roots. It's a verb, and they translate it. They shall run, okay? In the King James, it's a verb of primitive root. It's to run for whatever reason, to, especially to 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 uh, to rush. Be anxious. Be worried and anxious. Now, am I doing the right thing? Is it good or a bad? Oh, I must have done a bad thing. You're surfing that wave of emotion, okay? And this is also, it's running to help. To be helpful, you're just so anxious and wanting to be helpful and stuff that you're missing the mark because of that. You gotta slow on down, slow on down, slow on down. And this is in each and every area of your thinking process, just like a, the water is representative of the Word of God, correct? The spiritual thought processes of God. And what happens when you take a, a rock, a Christ, Spirit of Christ? God's telling you something, right? He gives you like an order. Throw it out there into that water. There's waves, right? <clears throat> right? And they go every direction. Right? But as that thing, through a little bit of time, through a little bit of that, uh, as you go along, that just like that radio wave slowing all the way down, that's God's putting pressure on it. That wave in the water from that rock to Christ hitting in there and giving you order as you follow him, as you live, exist in him, it just settles out and it becomes smooth again. Barn, there's no winds and all this stuff. <laughs> just a smooth lake, you know, you throw a rock in, boom, okay. There's two or three rocks thrown in the waves, do different things. Some of them cancel out, and all kinds of stuff goes on. Uh, it's pretty complex, okay? Um, I may tackle some of that, but later down the road, that's kind of the. the I gotta digest that more, okay? Now. <clears throat> This, um, these waves, so they, this waves, just like on this waves, this electromagnetic spectrum, which is basically light. God is light. God is, God is love. God is light. Okay. It's showing you this pipeline. It's God is love beyond words, right? And these waves of light, they get faster in frequency as it's going from radio waves on out, you know, through microwaves and infrared rays and through the invisible light spectrum and then, you know, the the ultraviolet the X ray and then going right into the back in back in an S Y N gamma ray, which is representative of being way out here surfing the wave of motion missing like this flying and you're as you're going along, these waves are settling down. And they're going into more of a, of a, slowing down through all these things, right? These are natural things, but they're teaching you what's going on in the spirit. Okay, just like that rock hitting in the water. You know, you throw a bigger rock, God gives you a bigger task to do a bigger wave, but it slows down. 
be anxious for nothing. Don't rot. You don't have to stay there on that big boy. It'll just slow down. And then it'll return right back in. And that's why in God's right mind, it's right down to the level where God loves you the same always. But as he's doing this, he's load testing you. You become a, like taking them braids of rope. Little bitty braids, a whole bunch of them. One to two to four to eight to sixteen. Pile them on your twist. And God's twisting them as you agree into a stronger and stronger and stronger rope. To where you can handle more stuff. Just like a load, load testing a bridge. And stuff don't bother you, back. Okay? Looks like a burden's coming upon you in these storms of life. Don't bother you, bad. You haven't been load testing. You're out here like it's flying. Woo, you're all over the place. You're weary. You're growing weary. And like this, this just like the first, second, third day here. Pastor of Pentecost Tabernacles. But it's experiences inside your mind. That's what I was talking about. These thought processes coming back through that eye of the needle. Right back from out of, to, towards, into, in, and that's why in God. Relying upon God. The battle is the Lord's. Right there in the middle is like a pipeline. Remember with the word, the thought processes of God flowing through that pipeline. You got to go all the way through that eye of the needle to get in, resting in God, and that's why in. Reliance and union with God, with God's thinking processes, knowing that God loves you beyond words. All the way down to the plank size thought process. And he's refining it with his, he's consuming that garbage thinking with his consuming fire and he's refining. <coughs> <coughs> And refining <laughs> those metals that come back to the more stable, like of a gold, silver, or a lead, like on a periodic table chart. Okay, the peri periodic table, you know, not no longer come out here like in a helium or some hydrogen, helium, all these things, light atoms. Tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. They're unstable in all their ways. They're double-minded. Good and bad. Okay? <clears throat> it's all this rushing up. Help, 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 help. You may have good intentions. At first, you just want to fly. Then you start wanting to run. You're still anxious. It's just slowing down in Christ. I just slow all the way down. E-N and S-Y-N. See? And that's in each and every thought processes. Every one of your thought process. You know, it's as God permits. Because he gives the increase, not you. Not me. Not anyone. God does. The only thing you do is agree with him. Right? Okay. Now... Let me make sure I covered that good, okay? <clears throat> so, now, I, I kind of told that pretty good, so let's, let's, let me check this stuff real quick here. I got like a little chart thing written out here, just if I want to add anything else, and then we'll go back to, go back to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, okay? Because I covered Isaiah chapter thir uh, 40, verse 30 and 31. Fairly deeply, right? I don't know, it took several recordings, but that's okay. If it helps those that have an ear to hear what the Spirit says, and those that will study to show themselves approved, and they'll find out, prove it to themselves, Doki Majo, not may prove. Like, that's, you get that word there in Romans chapter 12, verse 2, where it says, may prove, that's Doki Majo. I have to look up the number. Can't quite remember it. You can look that up for yourself. It's in Strong's Exhaustive Concordance and other concordances, okay? 
I had the same numbers, okay. <clears throat> now, <coughs> exact examination table. Prove it to yourself. We don't like to go down there and shove it. Not down no one else's throat. You know, like I'm lead horse, lead the, the strength of others to the water, to God's thought process, but I can't make them drink. If they want to hang on to their old stuff and not check it out and just argue and argue, what I do, dust, the, dust off my hands, off my works, my efforts, and off my feet. They're old stinking dust that they're hanging on to. I'm not taking that. I'm not going to eat that. Go on. Dust it off. Stomp the dust off your feet, off your lifestyle, off your existence in your mind. I don't have to think that way. I'm not going to. I've done looked at it, studied it, examined it, dissected it. That other stuff, they have it. I, 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 I've done what I'm supposed to do. I'm resting in, and that's why I ain't God. God be for me. Who can be against me? Who cares? I'm just trying to help. I'm just like lowering that big braided rope down to the waters, down to the waters, the masses of fish, and then pulling them up, up over a limb that they can't get over by themselves, and then caressing them and loving them and putting them down into a spring-fed water brook area where it's bubbling full of all kinds of oxygen-rich nutrients. Speaking of the Word of God, where God's doing the work. God's giving the increase. To Waterman. He showed me that. Way back about. Back in the early 90's. When I could barely even stand. I was standing in front of this church building. Nobody else knew what was going on. God was showing me right there. And I was wide awake. They were doing their own thing, but God was telling me some stuff inside. It's, it's coming now. I just have to let all that waves calm down. There's still stuff going on. God's not done. Okay? <coughs> so, um... Okay, I got here, like, in some of these, I'll just touch a little one of them, and then I'll go on, okay? Um, see, when you're in this kind of red, in this flying or running, so the waves are great big, you want to battle or struggle. The struggle is yours. You want to help. You want to aid. You want to fly. You want to go fast. You want to just get it done. Right? You want to fly, run, go fast. You're relying on your own physical strength and your own physical might to do it. Instead of allowing resting in and in union with God. That's why in God and knowing that the battle is the Lord's. It's God's righteousness that will get you through. God didn't say to do it. Leave it alone. No matter if it looks like, oh, that's really a big need there and I... I need to do it, and I have to do it. Better leave it alone. If not, you're you're just basically doing like Lot's wife, and you don't even know it. That's a good thing. That's not a God thing. No matter if it's, oh, I better pray for him, I better beg. God didn't say to tell you to do it. Better not do it. Love, you love them? Just as much as I don't mean you're turning back on them. Or no one else, or on yourself, nothing. You're just hearing. You're, you're taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ and not to the obedience of your own um, ego, your own self, your own deceptive, dog, uh, serpent nature inside of you. That's more deceptive than any beast of the field. Okay? <clears throat> yeah. yeah. When you're in this first two phases there, you're rushing in to help, okay? Uh, one must uh, 
One must do spiritual battle, spiritual warfare, spiritual prayer warriors. If God doesn't tell you to do it, you better leave it alone. If not, you're suffering a wave of emotion. Even if you're out here not as hot, you're still not relying upon God. You're not waiting on the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. All those thought processes. And lean not upon your own good and bad. Your own needs. The other's needs. You're trying to help. If you're running. Mm -mm. This will come with experience. Okay? And in each and every area. You might think, oh, I got it. And then the next thing you know, oops, I'm sticking my foot in my mouth again. Yep, I hear you, God. I got to take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ through the anointing of God. Because Yahweh's salvation, I'm not salvation. I'm not saving anyone. God's able. God is the one doing it. God's delivering. So, Joe. Okay. Um, so right here it's saying, uh, not waiting on God's righteousness to direct and be impatient or anxious. That's it. Flying and running stuff. Okay. Fast, a little slower, but not E N and X Y in God. Okay. Over here. On the other, you wait on the direction from Christ. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not upon your own understanding. Don't run, don't, don't, don't fly. Just wait on God. Okay? The battle is the Lord's, not yours. Hmm. Be slow to speak. Quick to hear and slow to speak, right? Quick to hear what the Spirit says, but slow to react and do, 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 do. It's not necessary. So in, in the youth, in that, like, from a toddler, an infant, up to a, up to adolescence, you man, you gotta fly, buddy. I, I can't wait at all. In that teenage year, adolescence, all the way up to, like, a 30-year-old, Man, I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta help everybody, I gotta do, 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 do. So now, and if you notice, that's that's a pretty good while. That's probably about 11, 12 year old up to about 30. Boy, in the natural. When I was talking in here, it's not just a chronological age here in the natural that to get you there. Because there's so many people, people it's like 80 years old and never gets there. God doesn't permit it. In any area of their lives. Okay. And. See now. In this when you're. E-N and S-Y-N God. You're like sitting down and existing. Knowing that God is the one. Um, God is. God. Knowing that. God is one's. Uh, sufficiency. And not always trying to rush. Um, to be the righteousness because of your good righteousness your your ways are going to help God out you're impatient God doesn't need your help didn't God make you is it God increasing you hmm. and you gotta God can't do it without you hmm you just agree with God and enjoy it. And whatever God asks you to do, that's what you do. That is help. This other stuff is like interference. It's like impedance. It's resistance. It's like that big baseboard heater and the flow of electric around there. It'd be like the flow of God. Okay, and then all of a sudden it hits this resistor. This big baseboard heater. Puts off a lot of heat, doesn't it? It's just a big resistor. It's resistance to the flow of God. It's slowing it down. 
God just got to do a little crack thing there. Burn that thing up so I can, then it can flow through. Burn it up and then refine it out. So now there is no resistance there. You're eating and that's why you ain't got it. It's flowing like it's speed of light. Or, you know, right back in, eating that's why you ain't got in that gamma ray. Okay? Now, <clears throat> This do 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 phase, whether it's flying or running, you're slowing down. It is this way, and you know, out here, really, the salvation, the deliverance from that is God. God is salvation. Yahweh is okay. Um. See, God, I got here. God doesn't need one's help. God will. Because God will mess up, miss something essential. That's that's what they think. In this, uh, when you're going fast, or, or flying, or running. Oh, God will miss it if I don't help him. Oh, he won't. He's working inside you first. Take care of your own backyard, right? Uh, God supplies one's needs. The battle is the Lord. Rest in God in union with God's right mindedness. Okay? No do do in your temple, and no, you're not, but you are the temple of the living God. So grow up all the way from this unborn baby, all the way back up to the mature son, and then back in the Father. This has been Spiritual Toolbox number 69. Okay, we'll go back to.